Good morning, you beautiful creatures. How the devil are you? I hope you're well. If you're new here, my name is Lou, or Lucifer, as my friends like to call me. I'm my friends. I mean my ever-growing army of demons. Why does it sound like story time with Lou uh, on CBBs? I'm dying. <laughs> In the, since I had that nap, my voice has just been like, you're going now and this is the way we're going to liverpool comic con i'm halfway through the scare run <laughs> i don't know how i'm alive wahoo or as we like to say ker chow so <laughs> <lightning McQueen. laughs> we really don't let this fool you i'm very excited i'm very very excited uh, i didn't sleep last night at all um, oh, there's Stephen Hawkins. Oh, the oh, poor is facing graffiti. That's not nice. Um, <laughs> this is the weirdest intro I've ever done. It, this is the weirdest intro I've ever done. Yeah, so we're going to Liverpool Comic Con. Um, I'm only going for the Saturday. You're coming for both. Yep. Because you're mad. So I'm not even going to be here all day tomorrow. No. Today, I'm meeting Helen Von Carter. <laughs> Uh, Carrie Alworths and Simon Pegg, your meeting. Simon Pegg, Carrie Alworths and Gwendolyn Christie. So, we're not meeting as many guests as we usually do, however, they are big names. And because of that, it's probably gonna take us a while to get there, it's probably gonna take us a while to do, but it's fine. We are here very early, so it's like eight o'clock now. We set off at about half six, yeah. 20 to seven. <laughs> Uh, I haven't seen a lot of traffic. I think the flooding has a lot to do with it. I know a lot of people on the trains have had a lot of issues getting in. So that's not so great. I really hope everybody who bought a ticket manages to get in. But I think it's going to be chock-a-block today regardless. It's going to be busy. But what they have done this time around, which we've sort of been preaching since our first for love of horror is that for the sold out guests they've done time slots for autographs as well as photos yeah which is what we've been preaching about yeah we don't like to preach on this channel but when we do it's in the name of our lord and savior satan santa satan ah down here he's downstairs he's downstairs <laughs> he's not upstairs anymore he's not upstairs anymore um he sauntered vaguely down he did he did do the thing yeah so we're literally going to check out the guests we're going to check out the stalls or as many as we can see some friends, see some friends. hopefully meet some new people meet some old people you know we don't we don't um we don't mind the age <laughs> i'll shut up now we're here we're here and we're gonna do the thing. We're here, I'm slightly queer. We hope you have a horrible <laughs> time in the best possible way. They have opened up early already. Other convention companies take note. This is how you do the thing. And it's relatively quiet. I know it looks horrendously busy, but this is quiet compared to what it was like the first time. So as we say, get here early. Also, there's a Ferris wheel. You're welcome. How was it? Very seamless. Seamless, very seamless. Very, very good. One helpful hint is that if you are standard entry, make sure you look at all the lanes. Yeah. 
because there were two lanes that were like practically empty. Yeah, the ones that were further down, really. Yeah. But yeah, got in straight away. Awesome. Uh, security, very, very nice. Very Definitely. Efficient. Very nice, very efficient. Very nice, very evil. <laughs> not evil. If you're not an AEW fan, you won't get that. If you are, you'll know. Where are we going first? We're going to go queue up for Simon Pegg. We are going to go and queue up for Simon Pegg. Even though oh. it doesn't start until half nine. Oh my god. Also, we've got these little signs here telling you different things where to go and what to do if you haven't been to liverpool comic con before there are two separate buildings you've got the exhi exhibition center over here which is the blue building which is the blue building then on the other side past the rides that's the red building that's where your bigger guests are so and then in april they're using the arena wow so you have three buildings they're gonna make it so big <laughs> guest hall it's not just the guest hall it's also the vendor hall and the photo ops and the photo ops you're gonna I'm be doing <laughs> i wish you were you're gorgeous <laughs> yeah so quick tour of the hall you have got your guests over here then you have got your photo ops in the middle and then you have got your vendors further down if you are coming in from the main entrance you're going to follow it all the way down to the last door and then it's just through here um we're currently waiting for simon Pegg. very excited but we've got all the strange things cast there's lots of people here uh, gwendolyn christie is literally just down there we're going to go and meet her later uh carrie elworth's he's in the other room is he he's in the other hall yeah oh very good all right then but yeah as you can see it's pretty quiet at the moment so that's why it's ideal to come in as early as possible um always aim to try and get early entry also the lady who is handling Simon Pegg at the moment very helpful mm. very nice very good. Very, good. very good so because uh, I was gonna say Sean because Simon Pegg has gone uh, straight to his autographs because he was a little photos. bit late sorry photos, we're in, photos. The autograph we're in the autograph queue Gareth got me a cookie now if you remember these cookies absolutely slap I got these last time and I'm just a little bit obsessed. What'd you get? I got the Funfetti one. Oh, I like the Funfetti one. I thought you liked the Oreo one better. I also like the Oreo one. I like them all. Fine, here you go. No, I might get more later. Okay. We'll see. How long we got? A long time. We'll do it. <laughs> we'll do it. Okay, show them. Oh. That's Lou's. <laughs> and then yours, because you've got Nick Frost. I've got the other half. On the other side. That's super awesome. He, um, he was awesome. He was, <laughs> I've hugged Simon Pegg. <laughs> and Nick Frost. <laughs> um, yeah, I think the only downside was that it was so quick. So what happened was, we went to queue up for, for time slot for Gareth's time slot at half past nine. Half nine, but unfortunately, because he didn't get to us in time, he had to go straight to his photo op and then do the duo photo op with Nick Frost. So when he came back, the queue was massive. It was huge. Um, we're going. Going to carry Elvis. What doing? Go meet Dr. Gordon. We have got to go and meet Dr. Gordon. Didn't somebody say that he's like, n he, he hates the Saw franchise now? Well, something like that. Something like that. Great, good. And we've got Saw pictures. Sorry about that. We literally walked past someone and they were like, oh my God, they're a fugitive. <laughs> <laughs> we are, yes. So, yeah. Um, continuing on from what I said, um, it was super quick because the queue had just built up so fast. However, they handled it really well. Mike. A special shout out to Mike, who was helping to man Simon's queue. He was awesome. He was in the know. He knew exactly what he was doing. Got everybody organized. It was awesome. We're now in the red building. This is the red building. And as you can see, it is This is where a lot of the artists are, including 
one of my favourites, Bags and Blep. Busy as always, Jesus wet. If you're coming to Liverpool Comic Con tomorrow, e.g. Sunday, this is something you're gonna have to prepare for. Oh boy. And these are where a lot of your other guests are. We've got real time to talk at the moment, haven't we? We've yeah. got uh, lots of, Jesus, lots of time. Well, it's just about that. Uh, we're just getting um, informed about Carrie Alworth. Everybody's busy. Everybody is super, super busy. That's okay. You know, people are people. Everybody's human. Everybody so far that we've met, um, staff-wise, has been really helpful and really informative. So they've been honest, they've been transparent. They haven't sugarcoated it. They said, look, this is the situation. You might be able to see them at this point. You might not be able to see them at this point. It's fine. Um, yeah, like the communication this year so far has really, oh, sorry, has really gone well. I'd say it's gone well so far, so far. Uh, yeah, Mike from Simon Pegg's key was awesome. So informed, knew exactly what was going on, knew where everybody had to be. He understood that once they had Diamond Pass and Priority, they also had a massive queue anyway. So he distributed between the two queues. Um, main tip, again, what we always say, get there as soon as you can. Get there as soon as you can and plan because otherwise you'll be stuck. Plus also, expect, if you do plan, expect your plan to change. Yeah, it could massively change. Okie dokie, so I always do one of these things, however I'm going to do it again because I like to inform you all. So this is usually what a schedule looks like, so this is the Saturday schedule for example. This will be different to the Sunday schedule, but it shows you your autographs, it shows you your photo sessions, there's the Sunday schedule. Oh no, what a shame. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> what a shame, whatever shall we do? Uh, but it usually shows you the autograph prices, shows you the table selfies, and it shows you the combo. I don't think they put it on just yet, so I'm not too sure. I was thinking about getting a selfie with uh, Kerry, but I think he's a little bit busy, so I might just leave it for now. But this is what it looks like. And this is a sneak peek of tomorrow. You're welcome. I hope this helps somebody. Now we're going to do a segment I like to call Lucifer's Thoughts of the Day. Lou on the floor, Lou on the floor. Uh, Lou on the floor, Lou on the floor. <laughs> um, we've had so many people come up to us and say like they've watched the channel um, and they've watched the videos for Liverpool coming up and it's been awesome. A Grace, yes. Hello Grace, hello Grace's dad as well. Um, you guys were awesome. You were awesome. And I'm so glad you're absolutely kicking anxiety's butt and you're going in and meeting the guests and enjoying yourself. Like, that's how it should be. So, well done, you, Grace. Uh, you did take some photos with me. So, let me know where they are. Put them up on Instagram and show me your photos in a non weird way. So, we're just waiting for Carrie Elworth. Now, we came at what time? Most of them. 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock. So we came at 12 o'clock. Um, they said that he was going for lunch after half an hour. Yep, yeah, fine, cool. Okay. Uh, he's now gone for lunch. They've now changed his schedule, so he's coming back earlier, which is Not having a panel. Which is fine. However, Gareth asked the assistants if, because the same thing happened with Simon Pegg, if the same thing was going to happen with uh, raffle tickets and there's a lot of confusion about it. The attendant didn't. I had to ask twice. He didn't seem to know. So I don't, I genuinely don't know, and this isn't me digging. I don't know if it's a case of it's happening with certain guests, it's not happening with other guests. However, if that's the case, it just needs to be communicated. Like we wouldn't mind if it wasn't happening. We just want to know. Well, it's not just that, it's <laughs> coming back. Hello. It's coming down. Hello. In my eyes, you either do it for if you do it for one guest, do it for everyone, or you don't do it at all. Mm -hmm. I'm going back upstairs now. I think it depends on how popular the guest is. I didn't. Th I don't think they expected Carrie to be this popular. Wouldn't have been crazy. Um, but yeah, he's literally gone on his break now, so it's okay because he should be back at 20 to two. We've gotten closer to the front now. 
so by the time he comes back we should be well in there and then we should be on our way to Helen Bon Carter. We've heard rumours from a lovely subscriber by the name of Annie. Hello Annie, are you okay? Um, you went there. Yeah I did. Um, yeah we've had correspondence from one of our secret spies um, that Helen Bon Carter's team is a little bit I wouldn't say pushy, just they want to get people in and people out. I understand because she's super busy. However, it means that um, they're just they're just not letting people have the time. Um, but yeah, that's that's the situation. So yeah, fingers crossed. Um, fingers crossed everything goes well. I'm just a little bit anxious because obviously I made something for her. I hope that she can, even if she can't take it, she can at least look at it and be like, oh yeah, that's that's good. Good job, Lou, you did good. <laughs> and I can just, you know, have a little chat with her because with Simon, the problem was, because it was so quick and so busy, we could hardly speak to him and it was a massive shame because there's so many things I wanted to say to him, but it is what it is. Uh, but we will literally keep you guys updated as and when. Also, just wanted to pop in whilst we're waiting for Kerry. Um, so because the actor strike is still going on, you will have to give 50p if you do want one of these prints just down here, just because, yeah, the strike's basically going on. We can't give them to you for free, so just... Because it, it seems like we're endorsing. Yeah, exactly. So please just be mindful that if you haven't got your own print or own thing to sign, that this is what you will have to get, and you will have to pay 50p for it. you a thing I'm gonna show you the thing that I'm happiest with I don't know if you can see that please can you see that we met Carrie Elwood and he was the best thing ever and and he he, he did what are you doing <laughs> he did the Dr Gordon and I'll tell you something so when I was watching the Saw movies I was the only one that thought that Dr Gordon would come back and when he did, I was very happy. Anyway, by the by, you asked him about Twister. He's an absolute psycho, but he's a lovely psycho. We're in the queue for Helen Von Carter now. Now, if you've only got one ticket, you're the only one that can queue up. So Gareth can't queue up with me. Are you shaking the camera? This is awful. So yeah, that's the situation. But yeah, we're here and it looks somewhat fine. It looks like it's manageable manageable so we'll see how it goes we'll we'll see how it goes but to be continued Ouch! that's the night look finished I've done uh, crying mostly I cried a lot Helena Bon Carter is one of the best people I've ever freaking met in my entire life like she was just so attentive and so nice and so friendly and she wanted to know everything and you know she she said about the horns and I was like oh you know like I do it for my YouTube channel like we help people uh, to conquer their fear of anxiety with like uh, conventions and public spaces and stuff like that and she was like that is such an important mission like well done good for you and I was like well actually it's because of you that you know I'm I've, I've stuck authentically to this because there was a point where I was like I can't dress like this anymore because I used to get like the crap beaten out of me and she was like always stay authentically you always stay you and she was just she was everything I wanted and more and I think because she only signed her name which is fine I get it I think because 
we were talking so much, she just I don't signed her so. name. Did she personalised anybody's? No, no. Which is fine. It's absolutely fine. Tommy like, Pegg didn't. No, he didn't. The team were brilliant. I don't know what people have been talking about. Like, they were really attentive. They knew exactly what they were doing, where we needed to go, what we needed to do. Um, they were really regimented in a good way. And then the team with her, oh my God, my arm hurts. The team with her inside of like, wasn't really a tent, like in the section she was in, they were really friendly and really tentative and just like listened and they were lovely. But yeah, and it went by relatively quick. Like, I don't know about you, like if it felt. I found stuff to do. What I, did you do? I just got B-roll. Just got B-roll. Uh, but we are oh, now. someone complimented my tattoo. Oh. Yeah, that's nice. They had a, a helmet, nameless school helmet. That's nice. Uh, but yeah, we are literally waiting for Gwendolyn Christie now, and then we're just wandering around the con, and then we're done nothing. All right, all right, all right. So Gareth is in the queue waiting for Gwendolyn Christie. I'm going to go on a trip. Those yearbooks. Hello, Mister Chancellor. Please drop Oh, definitely. just wafting Gwendolyn Christie. <laughs> we, we fangirled over her we and really said, did. We, it was like a Wayne's World moment, we are not worthy. <laughs> she was so nice. We're looking now for things. We've spent far too long in queues and now we're going to look around stalls and try not to spend more money because Lou spent a lot of money. I've lost so many hours of my life. <laughs> Your work is incredible. Whee! I like the little ghosts, they're my favourite. <laughs> we are done. We are done. We are done. done. Finally putting this in here. Heck yes. Gwendolyn Christie uses a very expensive looking paint pen. Yeah, hot tip. So when you get your stuff signed, just be careful because they use some really good quality paint pens. However, um, they do take a hot second to dry, so just be careful with that. Also, before we go, just because we didn't spend a lot of time outside, mainly because we've been running around like, well, we've been running around. So a quick mini tour in case you're coming tomorrow and you might get a little bit confused. You come in through this way, just down there very good and on the right hand side you've got the blue, blue building blue building and on the left hand side you've got the red building now this is where Helen Bon Carter and Jensen Ackles Misha are Collins. and Misha Collins as well they're on the upper floor they're on the upper floor this bridge here not in use does not compute so even though it was advertised even though it's advertised so that's the second time in a row where it's been advertised that you can go from red to blue uh-huh but no yeah uh so if you do find that you have schedules and you're in the red building but you need to go into the blue building you need to exit back out the main way Easier of the red exit. building and then follow back around to the blue building this is where a lot of your guests are, the guests are kind of split up between the two this is where your artist area is as well and this is where your general vendors are outside you've got a food selection so you've got chicken box, you've got street food, you've got pizza, I think you've got fish and chips and you've got something else down there, I'm not too sure what it is. Burgers, you've got a little seating area. One of the main things that people have been saying, once again, and if you're new to conventions, seating, there's not a lot of it. And if it's cold, you're not going to really want to sit outside. And if it's raining. And if it's raining, you're not going to want to sit outside. So just be prepared for a lot of walking. Wear some sensible shoes. It's going to be interesting next year. 
Yes, because they're opening up the whole thing. They're opening up the stadium as well. Or the arena. The arena. Sorry, I get mixed up between <laughs> Stad the two. Stadiums are slightly different. Arena. <laughs> uh, so it's it's going to be bigger. It's going to be way bigger. What that means, I don't know. I don't know. Will we find out? Potentially. Yeah. It depends who the guests are. Yeah, it depends on who the guests are. We're very much at a point now where it depends on who the guests are that are turning up. We're not just going to go to conventions for the, sake of it. for the sake of it next year and the year after because we are saving for our wedding. Who saw? Oh, you got a coffee stand as well. But yeah, we're back. We're back. I've got no makeup on. What's makeup? And my eyes are burning. What is makeup? And my head hurts. And my foot hurts. And my tummy hurts. How are you? Um, okay. He's a good my guy. My legs hurt though. Oh, we've done lots of standing and lots of walking around today. Yeah. But it's been worth it. It's been awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. Uh, before we get into our thoughts. Sorry. I can't work with this. <laughs> Before we get I'll into be our thoughts, already. we thought we would do a mini haul for you guys just because we've done, well, we, I've bought a lot. Um, so do we want to run through our autographs first? I've started putting them away. Great, love that, awesome. Um, <laughs> yeah, so we got Carrie Alworths, we got uh, Gwendolyn Christie, we got uh, Helen Bon Carter, and we also got Simon Pegg or some sources. Um, all in all, that pretty much took us a full day to get. We finished getting autographs at about half, no, about half five. About half five. About half five. So we got early entry. I think they were only really doing early entry, weren't they? Uh, they weren't doing just standard entry. Standard entry should have been from 11. Yeah, so we got in early and that was for for guests so i reckon if you're looking to do four plus guests you need to get early entry and diamond easy pass as well. and diamond pass potentially just because there could be a lot of potential clashes there could be a lot of schedule changes but we will get into that momentarily will ah, very you good send that picture over to me received i will do that when i have time okie dokie so Let's show you a few little bits that we got, starting with... Blah, 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 blah. So this awesome Michael Myers patch, which I am going to have to painstakingly sew on for you. You're welcome. When I get, a, when I get another jacket. This, these are from Rock and Roll Suicide. Rock and Roll Suicide are awesome. We go to them at download, we go to them at conventions for all our patch needs. They sell great quality patches. Mm. They do t-shirts, they do jewellery, bags. <clears throat> bags, pins, all sorts. Also, I got Gareth this Halloween two pin. Mm, there we go. Awesome. And it glows in dark. It glows in dark. That's You're good. welcome. Hey, that's a good that is. That's going on convention bag. <laughs> yeah. And um, I got something. Where did it go? Um, I don't think I can find it. I got a patch that's a little bit interesting. A bit on the nose. Uh, a bit on the nose. Should I have got it? Probably not. But you did. But I did. What are you going to do? We're in a cost of living crisis. Life's too short. Yeah, I got this. I don't know why. I just thought it'd be quirky. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But... <clears throat> My point is, Rock and Roll Suicide are amazing. They're absolutely awesome with this kind of stuff. Lovely couple. Um, lovely couple as well. However, they have a very good way of making me buy things. So, well, I mean, they're great salesmen in that respect. Uh, let's see what we have got next. I believe next up we have got Pigeon Creek. So Pigeon Creek, I'll pop this here. I think I I've lost a uh, badge. So this is Pigeon Creek Studios, and that <laughs> is where I got my uh, my thumb drive from. <laughs> it's a literal thumb. 
much gig is it? We love a 16 gig. 16 gig, I think. That's not bad. We love a pun on this channel. Yeah, so it's basically a pen drive. <laughs> but it's a thumb. And I love it. Well, it's a toe. But I like to call it a thumb drive because it is funny. I've lost a button. Boo! Hiss. Just gonna have to buy you more then, aren't we? I don't know which one though. Shame. Oh dear. Uh, yeah, so I got this for 20 quid. Uh, but they, everything they do is absolutely uh, amazing. We bought from them before. Uh, I will probably be buying from them again. They did inform me that when they go to For the Love of Horror, that the selection is going to be a lot gorier and I cannot wait. As I said at the stall, it's fine. It's fine. And then we move on to uh, Bunny's Beads. You can find them on Etsy, Instagram and Facebook. So that's there. Yeah, Bunny's Beads. Lovely. And that is where I got my bow from. There we go. So trick or treat. I thought with it being Halloween, I definitely wanted to get something quite Halloween-y and what better than a trick or treat bow. I am potentially going to wear that at For the Love of Horror. We shall see. Probably not the first day because I'm wearing my Michael Myers dungarees because we are going to meet a lot of people who play Michael Myers. And then... Gareth is just doing his own thing. I can only apologise. So bags and blep, <clears throat> let me tell you, bags and blep have a very special place in my heart. I adore what they do. I think they're incredible. I love them endlessly and they just do wonderful things. So you guys know that I'm a massive fan of Our, Fla Our Flag Means Death. I'm also a fan of Good Omens. We both are. We both watch it. And I got some really cool little bits of stationery. There we go. So I got a sticker from Our Flag Means Death. That's Steed and that's uh, Ed. And then I got a lovely bookmark, which was very nicely gifted to me by the wonderful bags and blep but this is all their own art and they are very very talented they both have very different art styles but when they come together it is gorgeous and then i got this notebook here which you can rip the uh, notes off so some of these are actually going to go into the patreon's uh, halloween packages so that's super cool but yeah bags and blep if you get the opportunity to go to their stall please go because they work really really hard they're a lovely pair and i just love them so much what are you doing the badges what on. are you doing well seeing as i lost one i don't know which one i actually lost actually oh dear and then finally is it the forgotten imp yes yes so <laughs> All day, I was basically complaining and saying, I haven't seen any Astarian stuff. If you don't know who Astarian is, Baldur's Gate 3, I'm obsessed with that game at the moment. I It's like D&D, &D, but for like your laptop or for your console. And it just gives me an escapism whilst like Scarefest is going on or if I'm having a particularly damn day. So we were walking around and I was just like, there's no Astarian merch, I'm very sad. That's and then the, the last stall we see. And the last stall. So this is the Forgotten Imp. This is all there own art as well and we find these gorgeous badges there we go so we've got a, a starry and approves and then we've got careful i bite i feel like i'm doing an unboxing video there we go you can't really see it too well with the glare and then it's quit bleed uh, quit bleeding it's distracting and pop this one here and you can see his beautiful little face i know i'm obsessed i have I a problem hear it in his voice <laughs> i love him i think quit he's wonderful bleeding. it's distracting it's distracting but that's that's all the haul we got yeah. mainly me i've got a problem you just like shiny things. It's been scare fast and I'm needed retail therapy. What can I say? But it's been awesome. It's been mm. absolutely awesome. Uh, highlights for you. Go. Uh, There's too many. Name a few. Gwendolyn Christie. Mm -hmm. Amazing person. Mm -hmm. Wholesome. 
Mm -hmm. Genuine. Mm -hmm. Tall. Mm -hmm. Very tall. Um, Kerry L. West, unique. Such a unique meet and greet. Yeah. If you ever get the chance to meet him, do He it. was perfect. He was such a gentleman. Um, and also, the majority of the staff we saw. Yeah, the staff have been amazing today. Mm. The staff have been awesome. They've been well informed. The communication has been great. They've really looked after the uh, customers. We were in the queue for Simon Pegg and there were some people that were finding it difficult to stand for long periods of time. Mm. And they were giving them chairs. Like that was so mm -hmm. lovely. And they were keeping everybody informed with what was going on. Even though Simon Pegg, um, his schedule changed a little bit, which we'll get onto that later. However, due to those schedule changes, they accommodated for it. And they worked around it and it was awesome. It was so, so good. Uh, Helen Boncarta for me was one of the main highlights, mainly because the way that it was handled was impeccable. So a lot of you are returning from the original Liverpool video, which mm -hmm. had a very different vibe to it. I was in tears. It wasn't okay. I was stressed out. We were stressed out. Gareth mm. was upset because I was upset. He doesn't like it when I get upset, which is nice. Thanks, boob. You're um, however... As soon as we went up, we knew exactly where we were going. I was... That top floor... Yeah. ...was so organised. It was so. spot on. It was so organised. Spot on. Um, they were communicating with everybody. They were shouting instructions, getting everybody to the right locations. And then as soon as I was led in, the staff were really good, really accommodating, knew what they were doing, getting everybody in and out in a good time. So when I went in to meet her, I had like a really good amount of time mm. and it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect. The staff with Helena were amazing. They were awesome. They took an interest in me. They made sure I was okay. Everything was gravy. Everything was really, really good. Uh, I can't speak for other people's experiences because that was my experience. If other people did have a bit of a bad experience, I can only say sorry uh, i can't relate to that yeah it's not to say that didn't happen no exactly no 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 like you know i'm sure there were plenty of incidents where people did have a not so great experience mm. and it did suck i can only apologize that uh, that happened and i hope you're okay but this time round, honestly apart from a few minor inconveniences with schedule changes and witnessing what, what one rude member of staff yeah but this is the thing, it's it's not the company's fault, it's no. not the majority of the staff, it's one or two. Yeah. And it wasn't directed at us. No. It's... <sighs> Someone in the diamond pass queue. Yeah. If people need additional support, if they need help, you don't ridicule them, you support them, because mm. that's what you're there for. Um, Lovely guy, you know, just wanting to meet Carrie Alwurs and wasn't treated as well as he should have been treated um we will stand up for people 100 percent in these situations and the thing the thing i love about monopoly events is they learn mm. they listen and they learn we know for a fact that they've watched a few of our videos which is deeply honoring and they take on all the feedback and they get better every single time this is what's happened with this convention they have got better mm. they've smashed it out the park and we have minimal things to complain about it was mm. awesome the negatives are dwarfed by the positives yeah. yeah they are you know even with simon Pegg missing out it's it's fine carry our worse like they cancelled his talk i know that people wanted I to go and see it his talk. He probably cancelled it then just so he could stay on schedule and meet people and make sure people weren't waiting around for too long. Mm. Like, that's awesome. He was awesome. Yeah. Um, but from start to finish, we haven't had any issues. No. And we can only thank Monopoly events for putting on these shows, for being open to ideas and mm. listening and getting better and improving. So, I've got no no issues. No. One of the best cons we've ever done, yeah. I'd say. Definitely. Was it busy? 
Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you need a lot of planning? Yes. But I would do say... Do you need to be flexible as well? Do you need to be flexible? You yes. Be very flexible. Do you need to empathise with the fact that your plans, no matter how much you plan, mm -hmm. may change? Also, yes. Our plans changed, but almost straight away. Yeah. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. And then we thought one thing was going to happen, and then they changed again to mm -hmm. go, sort of go into our favour. Mm. Yeah. Yes, that was with the raffle ticket system for Carrie yeah. Alworth. So, so... Some guests, if you get kicked out of a queue, you're given like a raffle ticket to come back. Mm -hmm. And you go through the Diamond Pass queue. Whereas... Some, some guests aren't, yeah. There's, there's a lack of consistency there. Yeah. But... You know, it's something it's to... It's trying to find a happy medium. Yeah, it's a happy medium. It's something to be picked up on. I think it's to do with the popularity of the guests, and mm. I get that 100%. I think it was just... We were looking for a straightforward answer of yes or no. Yeah. So we knew where we stood. But apart from that... But then with Carrie's um, schedule changing... Yeah. We just... Uh, it sort of... It works it in our favour. Works in our favour. Yeah. So we got an outcome, a good outcome either way... Uh, the guy who was helping, oh. We didn't get his name. No, I did, and I've forgotten it. I can only apologise. Oh, no, no, um, uh, Kerry uh, Alworth. Oh, didn't get oh it. I he, can only apologise. He, so he was awesome. He was, he was absolutely awesome. He had black curly hair, and he had a lovely, like, london accent the lovely southern accent lovely southern accent yeah he was great mm. a lot of the staff that we've met today have been great so well done monopoly event um we hope that tomorrow is great i'm really hoping that i'm going to get this vlog out tonight so you can get like a grasp of how it's going to be tomorrow i'll be there in the morning um gareth will be there in the morning however he's not vlogging i do not want to do another convention vlog so soon yeah it's it's been awesome it's been absolutely awesome so next what you've got to look forward to is fireworks mm. so that is rapidly coming up that will be in two weeks just under two weeks uh, yeah two, two weeks today yeah two weeks today and then oh, we've two got weeks yesterday two weeks yesterday so it'll so be uploaded two weeks today under two weeks so and then we've got for the love of horror oh no creeper oh we've got creeper the proper gig. Yeah, the proper gig. And then we've got For the Love of Horror. <laughs> then For the Love of Horror, which and is our then... big thing. And then... Skin? Yeah, Skin. You've probably, you've probably got a couple of mystery boxes. Yes. Um, then Smash Into Pieces. Yeah. For the Love of Sci-Fi. Yeah. We'll have the watch along, as yes, usual. Yes, November watch along. Mm-hmm. And that's... Yeah, that we'll was... see where we go from there. But yeah, we're, we've had an awesome time awesome time special shout out to will grace uh, will, annie will and grace. <laughs> uh grace's dad anya anya yes special shout out to you all we were recognized so much yeah it was surreal it was so damn surreal and even, walking even just, even just oh and the guy dressed as hopper oh <laughs> yes we didn't get your name hello there but walking past people and hearing oh my god they're the ones from youtube that was mad yeah. That was mad. Even when I was just running around doing B-roll. Mm. Oh my god, he's from YouTube. <laughs> it's weird. It's happening. It's happening. Should we take our own 8x10s? Yeah, maybe we should have our own table. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much to everybody who made that experience for us. And everybody who came to say hello. Mm. And everybody who watches the videos. Like, because of you, it pushes us to want to do more. Yeah. Which is always awesome. But yes. We hope you've had a good day. If not, that's okay. Always remember, tomorrow's a new day. See you later, guys. Bye. Bye.